2016 Relay for Life of Second Life, Random Dara. <laughs> Oh, good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to see so many of you here, and oh, these snails just look incredible. Can't wait to watch them snail along. And looky here, as you look on this stage, you will see names you haven't seen for a while. Andrew Green, he's hosting for us today. Uh, T1 Radio uh, staff is not able to be here, so a great fill-in, and the wonderful Xander Green from Fantasy Fair is our host. So thank you, Xander. My pleasure. And we also have um, Layla Spire, uh, the 2016 co-chair of uh, New All Americas, is not able to be with us today. Um, but we do have our past chairs of Nikki Matheson and Mama P. Beerbaum is somewhere out there in the crowd. If you're out there, wave Mama. I don't think she can make her way up here. To <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here. Thank I'm you, here. Jeff. <laughs> Good morning. So um, how does it feel being back up here on this stage, you guys? No, uh, like coming home. That's Just right. like coming home. <laughs> That's right. Always fun. That's Always right. fun. It feels so exciting here today. Everybody's excited and raring to wow. go. Wow, yeah. I know. Halfway already, random? I know. You blink and poof. Wow. And what's, wor what's worse is the second half goes by faster. <laughs> yes, it it's does. Like, yep, it's going to be relay weekend tomorrow. I know. I know. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> and that's okay by me. I, that's like Christmas, you know. Yeah. I know. It really is. You know, and based on our events and based on these beautiful sims that we have here, um, we have some great surprises for our Relay Weekend. And uh, I can't wait to see what Grace Loudon does with with our design. Oh, Grace. Yeah, she's amazing. And with this theme, oh, boy, is that going to be fun. Yeah. You know, it's fun I mean, for Mama and I because we yeah. get to we get to enjoy the surprises right along with all <laughs> all our fellow volunteers now. We don't get let in on these surprises yeah. anymore. It's kinda it is like Christmas. That's it right. Is. That's right, Nikki. Well, you know, I purposely didn't come over here until uh last night or the night before just because I wanted to be surprised. Um so it it's it's best that way, you know. So another amazing season, huh, Random? Wow. Well, you know, uh, you're going to hear just how different it is. I don't know if all of you feel that way, that the whole mood of Relay this week, this year is just positive and Oh, focused. no, it's, yeah. It's, it's loud I, and clear. Yeah, I just, I am loving every minute of it. Um, all of our new teams and our, our experienced teams are are stepping up, helping out, and it's really all about making this relay all of ours. It's not right. just committees; it's all of ours. Right. Um, oh, and hey, that's a great lead-in for you, Nikki. Um, <laughs> we have some really cool news to share with you, and Nikki's gonna talk to you about that. She, Nikki does our is our awards lead this year. And I mean, who better than a past chair to, um, you know, take care of all of our awards, which from this halfway point to Relay Weekend, that's going to be our focus. I mean, it's all about getting the donations, but, you know, there is that friendly competition. Mm -hmm. So uh, oh, Nick yeah. is going to share and with you some great, great news. Yeah, and it's really fun for Mom and I. We got to present the awards all last year, and now right. this year. Thank you, Random, for inviting us again. Yes, thank you. It is fun for us. It is, it's special because we love the volunteers. We always will. They're our kids and, and our brothers and sisters, too, so thank you. Um, what Random is talking to talking about, referring to, is that I decided during the night last <laughs> night in my dream that, uh -oh. um, I know, <laughs> <laughs> this could be scary. Um, <laughs> so, 
we've got some very cool awards coming up, Relay Weekend, like Random mentioned, and we need some trophies. And um, we usually spend the second half of the season coming up with these trophies. And I thought, you know, the volunteers need to help us design these trophies. Um, if you want to be part of the trophy design ideas this year, I'm going to put a form online. I'll link to it from the awards page on the website and send us your thoughts and ideas on what the different award trophies should look like this year. Um, you could build us up a little prototype. You could describe it on a note card in detail um, and then copy that onto the form. Um, and then once we get these ideas on the different trophies that you would like to participate in designing and creating, um, I'll present it to the steering committee and Mama and I, and we'll, we'll pick them out. We'll choose. Ooh, that I sounds love fun, that. Nikki. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. You, yeah. It would be good if you could do some mesh because we, um, you know, it helps to have at least some mesh in the trophy so that the uh, prim count is down low. Um, so, yeah, that would be, that'd be fun. The awards are listed on the website, the different awards there are, and there are sev several, and each one needs its own trophy. So, yeah, I'll put that page on the uh, I'll put that information on the website sometime today or when Nuala gets back since she's the one who will actually put it on there. Okay. Yeah, we have some we certainly have some creative relayers, so it could well, be really and so, fun. And so keep in mind if you're going if you're like got your hands together and your thumbs are twirling and you're got your thinking cap on already of what what am I gonna create for these trophies? That as Nikki said, each one is individual. So the oh, cancer yeah. awareness one could be cancer awareness related, the theme could be theme related. Each mm -hmm. one is different. So um feel free to get creative and um join and then in the and uh, the one that could be really cool too is the spirit of relay. Awards because yes. those are so oh, yeah. special. Absolutely. I mean, we we have great minds out there. And yes, we do. Creativity. Um, and you know what? Let me just say this right off the bat: that this year, thank goodness, Builders Brewery. It's easy for me to say, <laughs> is a team this year, and they are they're out to to get those top teams. Let me tell you, they are, they're holding building contests and all kinds of stuff. So if you're thinking, Oh my gosh, builders brewery is going to be coming up with the awards. I don't have a chance. That is not true. <laughs> Although you are welcome builders brewery to submit your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. So, well, let's just get on with this. You know, we're not going to keep you a whole long time today because, as you can see, we're missing uh, Stingray Raymaker. We're missing Nuala up here. So it's it's just Layla, Nikki, um, Mama, and myself. So And Xander. And Xander. And he's he's here just to make us look good, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need any help with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just uh, get started here. First of all, I just want to thank you all for coming today. As we celebrate together our halfway point in our relay season. Now this is the time that we look back to our past and we see our history and we see this amazing story of Relay for Life and Second Life. In 2004, this relay began with a desire to do something about this disease that chooses its, random, its victims randomly and takes over our lives. This relay continues with an unending passion and belief and hope. Many volunteers, I can see out there, um, have been with us since the conception of Relay. And many of these teams are celebrating your 10th year. Congratulations on that. We learn from our past that in order to have a successful Relay for Life community, we need to build it from the ground up. 
our first event co-chair, Feander Foley, taught us that Second Life was an opportunity to reach people worldwide and draw attention to the American Cancer Society. The torch was then passed to Tasia Abattoir, who led us during a year when the economy was bad, um, donations were down, people were disappointed. I mean, they gave what they could, but they couldn't give much. Um, and she taught us how to be persistent, that we may not have the funds, but we certainly have the spirit. And then in 2011, Mama P. Beerbaum took the reins as our event lead. Mama's goal was to bring us together as one team. I mean, I personally, uh, I'm reminiscing now. <laughs> Excuse me. I personally loved your mama became chair. She wanted us to narrow our focus to realize who we relay beside. Relay was growing strong and we had Mama to lead us. It was during her time as event lead that we reached our first million dollar mark. And now that we're all bonded as one, Nikki Matheson came on board. Nikki brought us her vision of outreach. She brought us mega events, breedable fairs, Christmas Expo, Several of you were here. Will several of you here will remember when we reached that two million dollar mark? I remember standing in front of the stage, those kiosks out there. We were getting the that total up to two million. That was just a couple years ago. Our past has taught us how to grow, how to join together, to make a difference, and how to be creative in the way that we fundraise. Our 2016 season has proven to be a season of change. As the years pass by, we see more and more changes in Second Life. People move on, some to different grids, some leave Second Life altogether, and some find other areas of interest. But one thing is constant in Second Life, and that is the Relay for Life of Second Life community of volunteers. Our relay story has enriched our lives and given us the opportunity to learn more about ourselves and to serve others. We know what it is to become family and support our relay community. We know what it means to believe in a cause that hope is just not a word and that by working side by side and working at a steady pace, will make the difference in how this story ends. This year, our focus has been on reaching outside of the Relay community. I mean, you heard it through the fundraising advisors. You heard it at our kickoff. You know, we can't bleed our Relay dry. Second Life is a big grid. Go out and get them. Our reaching out has brought in 62 new teams this year with a total number of 154 teams. I mean, that's like just about half of us are new teams. We have almost 100 more participants than last year who have signed up to fundraise online. That's huge, 100 more than last year. And they're new, they're new teams. It's wonderful, and our old teams. Our fundraising advisors have worked hard to teach you how easy it is to fundraise using the Convio fundraising dashboard. We already have 18 teams that have hit the gold level all the way up to the highest level of Sapphire already at halfway. 12 of those 18 teams have used the online fundraising to achieve their goal. New this year is the opportunity, this, I love this, is the opportunity to receive 
a real life gift award from the online donation total as an individual. So you can get anything from a water bottle to a smart TV based on your online donations. We're finally learning how to fundraise the easy way. All it takes is an email and a web address to donate. We have some amazing events this first first half. I mean, I loved going to the events. I know I missed probably half of them, but I went to as many as I could. I mean, we had everything from Maximilian Clean to Chicago Sacks. We had Bob Marley to Oliver. We had Disney Putt Putt Golf to building contests. We had Zumba on the beach to paintball. Only in Second Life are we limited by the creativity of our own minds in planning and, re- and fundraising events. The most exciting news to me this half of the season is that although we have 39 less teams than we had last year, 39 less teams, we still reached over $153,000. We're halfway to our goal of 300000 I mean, who says that big is better? It isn't about how big we are. It's about who we are. We have that firm foundation. We care for each other, and we move right along, planning, emailing, outreaching, until we hit that goal of $3 million dollars. That's the proof right there that Relay for Life of Second Life is strong, persistent, and determined to put an end to this story of Once Upon a Cure. Layla, how would you like to do some thank yous? I can do that. Thank you. (laughs) Hi, everybody. I am sure most of you have always heard the saying, it takes money to make money. Well, when you're a charity, that's a little harder to do, and that's why we reach out for help from sponsors. A sponsor is someone who donates a designated amount of money to cover the cost of, let's say, our Sims. The sponsor, in turn, gets recognition, advertisement, and much appreciation. It's a wonderful way to honor someone or promote your own business. Take a look at all the opportunities that we still have available for Relay Weekend coming up in July. We will have to cover the cost of over 40 Sims. There are many different levels to join at. And the good thing is your team can get credit for the donation. Add it to your team total. Make sure you talk to Kathy Tenlagoria. If you're interested in being a sponsor or if you know a person who owns a business or wants to honor someone that might be interested and she'll be glad to help you and your team will also thank you. Now, speaking of sponsors, we have some special people I want to say thank you to for helping us with this event. And let's see, let's start with our SIM sponsors. We have Adorable Love Child, Gabrielle Colbain, Stones of Heaven, and Samura (laughs) Barzain. And guys, please, if I mess your name up, all I ask is your forgiveness. (laughs) Entertainment sponsors. We have Phoenix Dance Dream. And for all your shoppers out there, For our shopping area sponsor, we have Fire Within. Each one of your, each one of these sponsors, I just want to thank very much for being a sponsor and for supporting us at Relay for Life. Now, there's also some other special people. We want to also thank our media network partners. These are the radio stations that support Relay by playing our PSAs giving recognition to the American Cancer Society, 
and keeping you all informed of what's going on with events. We have T1 Radio, Krypton Radio, WIP Radio, CBGB, Radio CBGB, Full Throttle Radio, WTF Radio, and I'm crossing my fingers on this one, (laughs) Machiano Media. I hope I was close. (laughs) Um, Now, I get a special honor. Um, I remember as a relayer hearing these names and seeing these two beautiful ladies on the stage. Now, I get the honor at this time to introduce two incredible ladies to you from our relay community, Nikki Matheson and Mama P. Beerbaum. It's all yours, ladies. Thank Thank you, Layla. Thank you. And you know, Mama, while the mic is all ours, I'm I'm just saying our praises, but I think we get to take a second and sing hers. Oh, boy, do we. Boy, do we. Random. Random. (laughs) You are so wonderful. You are amazing. You are warm and welcoming and energizing and inspiring, and you're an amazing leader, and I know both mom and I and Sting are so darn proud of you. We are. You have taken this relay and over the last two years you have led it um, beautifully and this year is just another example of your leadership and you talked a little bit about um, the the tone of this year's relay and I think although Nikki and I, um, Nikki not so much but me really this year sitting in the background and but I'm always, always, always watching and always listening. And um, this year has just been a beautiful, beautiful relay. Lots of positive, positive, positive vibes and lots of great things going on. And um, oh, the the 60, I think you said 62 new teams and all the new relayers. And I mean, lots of good stuff going on random. So hats off to you, girl. And I do love you. Yeah, and same to you, Layla and Nuala. Your yep. co-chairs are wonderful. Just well done. Well done, relayers. Well done, well done. Halfway Nikki. to your goal, my goodness. And speaking of that goal, yeah. Mom and I get to be here to present Fundraising Club Awards and Convio Challenge Awards. And um, the Fundraising Club Awards are a little bit different this year in that the focus is more on U.S. dollar raised rather than Linden's so that we can get a, a look, a serious look at what we're all about, and that is fundraising. Um, they added a new level this year, the Rising Star. Actually, they added three new levels, the mm-hmm. Rising Star, the Jade, and the Topaz levels. Mm. Um, so we get to be the lucky girls to announce these uh, <laughs> these levels today as these relayers continue to climb it's probably climbing as we speak um so let me get to that doc because i know it's here somewhere and i'm going to start with the rising star level teams the teams who have reached rising star uh dreaming in purple is at ten dollars damnation mc is at 101 dollars too tough to die is at 103 dollars The Relay Guild is at $107. Relay Wizards for Spunky is at $109. Frank Sinatra and Company is at $111. The Hearts and Souls team is at $117. RFL (laughs) Raikyu Warriors team is at $118. Big Daddy's Club is at $119. Death's Serenade MC has raised $121 to this halfway point. Giant Snail Relay has raised $124. CZ Cheerleader is at $126. Morning Wood Valley Team is at $151. Dare to Dream has raised $152. Ministry of Dance has raised $162. Eternal Conflict, Angels and Demons has raised $163. Melly's Maniacs has raised $173. Rock Candy Club, $195. Ragtag, $196. Dragons for a Cure has raised $201. 
SL Golf for Life has raised 202. Foundation for Life has raised 203. Sunbeamers has raised $206. Eureka High RFL has raised $218. Breedables Community has also raised $218. Team Mingan for Relay for Life of SL has raised $224. And Team Nova has raised $226. And these are all our Rising Star level teams. Wow. Know. You know, Nikki, I think, I think I'm think i going to take just this minute to remind everybody, as we read these um, levels and the dollar amounts, just to remind you that every single Linden counts. Um, every Linden that goes into that kiosk counts, and, you know, it, what you raise as a team, every single dollar counts. So Absolutely. we're reading the amounts just so you know, but know that know that all of you are winners and you know, we love you all in every Linden count. So let me get um, onto the bronze teams. Feed Your Soul, Find a Cure, 408. Walking Tall for a Cure, 411. Um, Core Charities for Life, 432. Fly for Life, 432. Friends for a Cure, 443. Cybernuts RFL, 453. Yay. Battle Beasts for a Cure, 499. The Quest for a Cure, 521. Bonanza Country RFL Team, 582. Circle of Life, 625. In the Spirit of Relay, 633. Atlantis for Life, 637. Scorpions, Stingers, 699. LA Designs, Cures Come True, 302. Willow Springs RFLers, 331. Project Indigo, 345. The Pinkest Petal, 358, Southern Knights Country Club, 370, and Team Livewire, 387. Wow. Yay, bronze levels. Nice work. Now we will introduce the silver level teams. We start with Mad Vibes at 763, RGF for RFL at 766, SL Coast Guard at $798, Second Life Cheerleading Squad at $830. Cherubs for a Cure at $892. Team Soul Existence is at $941. And E and S Breedables is at $1,058. Nice silver. Nice silver. Nice silver. <laughs> um, wow, the gold level teams. Lots of gold level teams. Mm-hmm. Team Strange Journeys, $1,284. Inspired Dreamwalkers, $1,302. Alpha Sigma Omega Gladiators, 1,329. Team Bobby Sue, 1,378. Touched by Angels, 1,390. Fighting Sunflowers, 1,466. Builders Brewery Relay, 1,909. And Sail for Life, 1,976. Wow. So cold. This is fun, too, because of the new team names I'm seeing. This is fun. I know, huh, Nikki? I'm seeing some of the old ones and some of the new ones. And you know what? When I see totals like 1,976, that's a lot of Lindens, you guys. That's yeah, it a is. lot of Lindens. And 1976 was a good year, too. Yeah. <laughs> I <remember>. Okay, platinum. <laughs> platinum. They keep inviting us back, Nikki. <laughs> I know, one of these days. I know. Okay. I'm going to put us out to pasture. Go ahead. Yeah, into our rocking chairs on, on somebody's go. front porch. Okay. <laughs> the platinum level teams, we start with Aether Chrononauts Tiny Steps at $2,323. Team Shadow is at $2,582. The Sci Fi convention got in there somehow that's not a team but they did great <laughs> yes uh, they did <laughs> purple tears three thousand twenty three dollars cure chasers three thousand two hundred twenty and the Yay. harmony of hope three thousand three hundred ninety three dollars go platinum yep. and now the two new levels um jade Two Moon Paradise Dreamers at $4,405. Gorians in the Relay for Life, $4,647. Dollars. 
and unmasking a cure. 3,615. And Nikki, I didn't read your note and start That's from okay. the book. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've been out of order anyway. Yay, Jay. Yay. Nice <laughs> and then the last level is Topaz. Now we have a Topaz level and a Purple level still ahead. So stay tuned because we know by Relay Weekend we're going to have teams in those levels. But today, the highest level we've reached is the Sapphire level. And we have the Relay Rockers at $6,015 and a stand for hope. And I'm going to assume that's a new team. A I don't recognize that one, Nikki, so it might be. At $6,307. Wow. If that's a new team, go stand for hope. My goodness. Very good. And welcome to Relay. And congratulations to all the teams. What an amazing job you guys are doing. Wow. Yep. And just a reminder again, because this is who I am. Um, you know, we read off these totals, and um, the top ones are amazing. The bottom ones are amazing. You are all amazing. Um, yep. every, it all every, adds together. You're all in this together, and you need to take all of those numbers and add them together to get the total. So we Which are definitely... Is- all in this together. Yeah, and when you do that, it actually is a little over halfway to yep. your goal. To yep, the goal. Absolutely. So, wow. Amazing. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. i tell and, you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> and now we get to talk about the Convio Challenge. I know um, Random just spoke a little bit about um, Convio and some of the changes this year. Did you know about the whole individual awards thing? I think I saw something about that. <laughs> Probably on the website. I did, I did. And I thought, boy, I could use a new big screen TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Or even a new T-shirt. That's right. That's mine right. might be getting a little small. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, a little big. <laughs> yes. So, Convio... Um, um, we have some challenges this year. You know, the Convio Challenge started, I think, three years ago we started the whole Convio Challenge idea. And it has been a lot of fun. It gives the teams opportunity to reach out to friends and family and coworkers who aren't in Second Life and get them to contribute to our, our goals and our cause and our mission and help these teams get rewards for doing it. So we get to announce... Convios, and I'll let Mama. I'll let you start with that first one there. Okay, Nikki. Um, so the first twenty teams to reach five hundred dollars raised on Convio, and you get ten thousand lindens or forty dollars credited to your team. Ooh. So that's the Relay Rockers Team SOL Existence, Two yeah. Moon Paradise, Sail for Life, Gorians and RFL, Harmony of Hope. Ether Crononauts, Tiny Steps, and I am betting you I said that wrong. Um, a Stand for Hope, Team Very Shadows, close. Unmasking a Cure, and Cure Chasers. So nice. congratulations nice. to those 10 teams. Yes, so that money, when does that money go into there? Um, I'm going to guess just shortly after halfway there. If I'm okay. wrong, random will step in. But And my other question on this one, I, I'm going to assume that uh, there are still spots left in that le- in that. Uh, oh yeah, because we didn't get up to twenty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna assume that, and if I'm wrong, random will let us know. Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> the next Convio Challenge level is awarded to twelve teams. The first twelve teams that reached a thousand dollars in Convio, those teams will get twenty five thousand lindens or a hundred dollars which is $100, mm-hmm. bonus credited to their team. Those teams are Relay Rockers, Two Moon Paradise, Sail for Life, Stand for Hope, Team Shadow, Harmony of Hope, and the Aether Crononauts Tiny Steps. Congratulations to Congratulations. those. Congratulations, and there's teams. probably spots left there too, huh? Yeah, sure looks That's like it. Not bad. Okay, and the, the last uh, Convio Challenge category was the first five teams to reach $1,500 raised in Convio. 
And those teams get 25,000 Lindens, which is $100 bonus credited to their team. And so far, it looks like we have four that have reached that level. Um, Two Moon Paradise, A Stand for Hope, Harmony of Hope, and the Relay Rockers. Yay, so congratulations so to all those teams. Um, if you haven't found Convio yet and you haven't um, used it to you know, reach out to those in your real life who can donate directly and get credited to your team, um, you know, ask somebody if you're not sure how to how to do that, or um, if you just haven't gotten there yet, take some time maybe this weekend to go and you know get yourself uh, signed up at Convio and and see how yeah. easy it is to use. And I think Random said a real easy way to add uh, dollar amounts to your team. Mm-hmm, because we still have that level over there in that column K, Mama. Oh yeah. <laughs> We do. Um, that we don't have anybody that's reached it yet, and that's the first five teams to reach three thousand dollars will get a fifty thousand Linden or two hundred dollar bonus credited to their team. That's big. That is big, Nikki. Yeah, adding fifty thousand on a bonus is right. Boy, that'll shoot you up in a whole new level or two on the fundraising right. couple awards. Right, and you know, I think over the years, I think we've learned more how to use Convio you know, over the last three, four years and, and learned what a powerful, powerful way it is to, you know, to reach out to those folks who aren't in Second Life, but mm-hmm. who are willing to help. And, um, you know, it's a, a chance for them to be able to donate mm-hmm. uh, directly I to the liked, website. I always yeah. liked it so much because you would do an event and you'd watch the one, two, three, Lyndon right. go up so slow and boy, you get a Convio and it just right. shot right. You get because, one Convio donation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so especially for you new teams out there, if you have any questions about Convio or anything, just ask any one of us, and we'd be happy to to talk to you a little bit about it. I remember back when I first started relaying back in the Stone Age that um, back in the Stone Age, the word <laughs> Convio was like this foreign word to me. Like, what are you talking about? And um, it's just a word that is used to describe fundraising online at the website directly, uh, without having to come into Second Life. So. Not yeah. really mysterious or hard or anything, but just the word is kind of crazy. So then with that, we will finish up with the last Convio Award, which is the Participation Award. And these are for teams who just signed up for Convio and raised $10 at least or more. And Mama, I'll let you read that list. Oh, really? Uh- <laughs> just this, this, the name of the teams who have... Do you know where it is? I just want me to read the names real quick. Okay, I'm going to read these really quick, guys, because there's a lot of them. And hats off to so many teams um, finding their way to Convio, getting signed up, and getting at least $10 put in there. So SL Goff for Life, True to Life Survivors, Ponies for Life, Spirit of Sherwood Forest, Ragtag, CZ Cheerleader, Heart for Purple Healing, Rock Candy Club, Core Charities for Life, Hope Haven Heroes, Team Minigan for Relay for Life of SL, Team Livewire, Cherubs for a Cure, Inspired Dreamwalkers, Fly for Life, The Pinkest Petal Relay, Wizards for Spunky, Feed Your Soul, Find a Cure, Builders Brewery Relay, Bonanza Country RFL Team, Dragons for a Cure, Cybernuts RFL, Mad Vibes, uh, I lost my place, there we go, Second Life Cheerleading Squad, <laughs> Circle of Life, In the Spirit of Relay, SL Coast Guard, Fighting Sunflower, it's Unmasking a Cure, Gorians and Relay for Life, Cure Chasers, Team Soul Existence, Team Shadow, Sail for Life, Ether Chrononauts, Tiny Steps, The Stand for Hope, Harmony of Hope, Relay Rockers, and Two Moon Paradise Dreamers. So wow. um, yeah, hats off to you guys for finding Convio. And again, just a little little challenge to those teams that haven't found their way yet um, to find their way they Find their way there. Yep. And you know, Nikki, yep. I, go ahead. Because at, at Relay Weekend, I believe we still do this Convio Participation Award again. Yep. And so those we're we're hoping and every team we've got is on this participation Absolutely. because it's sign up it's fine yeah. sign up raise ten bucks we can Absolutely. all do that if you don't get somebody to raise ten bucks for you let me know let me know um, too <laughs> yeah yeah um, um, yep, so our... visit the website uh, the awards page on the website will will have information posted there about upcoming awards this relay weekend um, remember that some of the, those awards everybody gets to vote in and so that information will be on there the information about the trophy design opportunity and uh there's a couple new awards on there that y'all want to check out go to the website awards page and that's it for us mama yeah thank you for always inviting us back and um 
I, I just I want to say thank you for letting Nikki and I read all these team names. I know sometimes it gets long, but it's really, really important that you all know um, yeah. how much you are appreciated and how much and you are part of Relay. Yeah. And, yep, an honor. All right. So thank you, Random. It's an honor. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank yep. you. Well done, teams. I mean, you heard your team name yelled out there by Nikki and Mama, and I just congratulate you all on hard work. You know, um, I know you think, well, I can't assume, but <laughs> it seems to me like we talk convio, convio, convio. But honestly, we've been in this relay a long time. We uh, everyone you see up here has put on events and raised 10,000 lindens and it's hard work, it's fun, but it's so easy to send an email. And based on that, I sent you send an email out, you get donations online and then you get a gift. I'm going to post this in local chat. You can check out this website. It shows everything that you can get based on how much you bring in. Now, this is Real Life Relay does this. Um, that's what they shoot for. The lowest amount is $250. I mean, we keep saying that there's real people behind this monitor. We are no different than that. those Real Life Relays. And... Um, it's easy. All you have to do is ask. And uh, so I expect to hear all about your blankets and TVs and um, all of that uh, <laughs> next year for sure. So anyway, I just want to congratulate all the team. You guys just did an amazing job. I mean, it was just this weekend that we had a brand new team um, hit Rising Star we worked hard to do it. There were several teams. I loved it. Um, and thank you for everyone who has been involved with that in uh, helping those teams get there. So Layla's going to share with you our year-end awards for Relay Weekend. Now, you're going to want to listen up. These are about your campsite awards and Relay Weekend awards. Again, everything is on the website under awards if you want to see more specifics. Um, but go ahead, Layla, and tell them about what they can get at Relay Weekend. All right. First, let me kind of echo random just a bit and say congratulations to all the teams. You all are doing a wonderful job, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the second half. All right, everybody, I want to share with you some special awards that are going to be given away at Relay Weekend and Relay Wrap Up. Now, this year, there are a few changes of the awards. So listen up because you and your team won't want to miss an opportunity. There are several awards based on your campsite that will be given away at the end of Relay Weekend. And let's start with those. One of the changes this year is in the next two awards I'm going to tell you about. We have added a second tier of the award to these two categories. For our more experienced and established team, we'll be awarding first, second, and third place winners. Now we've added one additional first place award to our newer teams with less experience. If your team is in its first or second year, in Relay, your team qualifies to enter for the two new awards. And they are the Incentive Creative Fundraising Award and Best Themed Campsite. So you want to start getting your thinking caps on for both of those. Now, unless otherwise mentioned as we go through, the rest are open to everyone. Starting with the Cancer Education Awareness Award, first, second, and third place teams will be named. Designer SIM Awards, 
the first, second, and third place winning designer sims. Exhibition design award for the first, second, and third place. This one's important, especially for all those wonderful new teams out there. The new team participation award. This is awarded to a first-year team meeting the qualifications that are listed on the website. The returning team participation award. And then for everybody, even if you're not on a team, laps walked participation award. So if you want to come out to Relay Weekend and do some walking, there's an award in it for you. For those of you who are new to Relay or those that have questions about the awards themselves, you can go to the website at www www.relayforlifeofsecondlife.org then click awards 2016 awards and you'll find all the details now we have a few awards that are not announced at Relay Weekend but are announced at Relay Wrap Up and this event takes place in August they are the top team fundraising award overall, awarded to the team who raises the most Lindens with NSL. The top team Convio fundraising, awarded to the team who raises the most via Convio website. Top individual Convio fundraising for the top individual who raises the most. We have the Convio Participation Award for teams registered based on their efforts for fundraising via Convio website. And this year we have a Beacon Award. And this award will go not only to a team, but individual. Celebrating one team or individual who's made an exceptional contribution to Relay for Life of Second Life by providing leadership, creative ideas, acts of generosity, skills, or time without personal reward, the team or individual who utilizes events and relay opportunities to bring new awareness to Relay for Life. Nominations can be submitted for this one and will be accepted throughout the second half of the season all the way through Relay Weekend by all Relay volunteers. And we're going to get the link out to you to be able to submit your nominations. Look for that very soon. The next award is called Changemakers. It's a celebration of individuals who made a difference to Relay Weekend. They did something during the weekend that enhanced the Relay Weekend experience, an outstanding act of kindness, a remarkable contribution, a memory, a laugh that just changed the weekend event. Persons who brought humor, understanding, camaraderie, dedication, and a strong sense of relay spirit to the event. These individuals may bring new guests to share the relay experience. They'll promote using unity and spirit throughout. These awards will be presented to a maximum of six individuals. Then you've heard it talked about, so I'm going to explain it a little bit. We have the Spirit of Relay Award, and this is awarded to a team and also an individual. Listen. They embody the Spirit of Relay. And the Spirit of Relay includes an overall performance from kickoff to Relay Weekend. It's not a representation of simply an amount raised. It goes way beyond that. This award takes into consideration the spirit of the team and individual, how they embraced Relay for Life and the American Cancer Society's mission. It's also the enthusiasm displayed. Now, with the spirit of Relay, did they participate in all the relay activities as a whole? 
not only their own events, but others as well? Did they encourage others to keep working towards a goal, maybe even increasing their goals? Were they supportive and kind in Relay Chat? And did they embody the we are all one big team aspect? I hope you all make this year a very tough job for all the judges in all these categories and awards. And I also wish each team the very best success as we move forward. Now I'm going to turn this back over to our chair, Random. Thank you, Layla. So you guys, Relay Weekend is coming so soon. I don't know what it is, 60 days away or something. It's going to be here in a flash. Um, And all of those um, award categories are up. And I I hope that you caught on to that um, two of those awards were we're hoping that our 60 new teams um, receive a first place award this year. Um, You can compete against these teams that have been in relay for a long time and still get a first place award as a new team in that category. So put your minds together, uh, work hard, be watching for those building guidelines. They're not gonna be difficult. It's just basically to help us with our leg and keeping things phantom. That's the big key is keeping things phantom so people don't bump into them because every time you bump into something, it causes leg. (laughs) So we will be saying more on that as the second half of the season comes along. But I want to. I want to tell you how proud I am of all of you for going outside of our Relay community to promote your events. And and I'm not talking just Convio. I'm talking the Second Life Grid. You've been promoting it in your groups. You have your friends. You have role-playing communities. And you have these events that will encourage Second Lifers to attend them. I mean, fun events. So if I was new to Second Life and I searched that guide and I saw there was a paintball contest or a Zumba by the beach, I'd want to go to it. (laughs) That's what we want. And that's what we're focusing on this year is reaching out. This year I've noticed more and more faces and names that I've never seen before at events. Um, Seldom do I see but a handful of relayers at our event, at other team events. Um, I don't know where you're all hiding. Maybe you're planning your events. But that's exactly what we want. We want the second lifers to be at those events. We want to spread the word across the grid that Relay for Life of Second Life is even in Second Life. And that we're a strong community fundraising for a cause that touches every single one of us. On the other hand, remember that we are all one team. I want to encourage all of you to take the time to check those daily notices of events and look at the calendar to attend other team events. As Layla mentioned, This is how the Spirit of Relay Award and the Individual Spirit of Relay Award is determined. Um, It's also a great opportunity to support the new teams as well as experienced teams. Um, You can learn a lot just by going to an event. Old teams, new teams, in-between teams, Get to know each other. Support each other's events when you're not busy. Find out why someone relays. If you see a new captain or an old captain and you're new, say, hey, how come you relay? I'd like to get to know you. Meet a new friend. Welcome those new avatars you see. We are all one team working together. This event is a time for all of you to celebrate your hard work 
it's halfway there. It's our time to bond together, to rally, to gear up for our second half of the season. There are over 30 teams who have areas here today at the halfway there. Make sure that you make around, check around on those areas. Um, there's shopping areas, there's the entertainment sims, there's all kinds of vendors. It's gonna be a blast. I need to thank Navarre Lobo, Cami Two Residents, and Grace Loudon for putting this all together for us today. Just a round of applause. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Last year, last, not last year, last, but not least, our Relay Weekend will be here before you know it. For those of you new to Relay, get ready for something that has the potential to change your life. If you're a survivor or caregiver, we want to honor you with our first lap at Relay Weekend. Walk around here. There's a survivor caregiver spot. You'll see the signs and click on those boards. There's information there on how to sign up and be involved in our honor lap relay weekend. Mark your calendars for July 16th and 17th when we come together for our relay weekend. We're working hard to bring you the most memorable weekend an experience that you will never forget. And now, let's all enjoy your hard work, get to know somebody you've never met, and guess what? Watch out $3 million because we're coming after you. Go Relay! Go Relay! Woo! Thank you, everybody. And with that... Okay. The 2016 Relay for Life of Second Life season is halfway home. Congratulations and thank you to every one of you, every team and every team member, and good hunting in the second half of this 2016 season.